It's mid-morning in Lowell School in Washington, D.C. In this class, you can't see any notepads, only iPads. The teacher, Kaven Yi, is bursting with enthusiasm. He made a backpack to see if we can do this. They're designing prototype backpacks. You can challenge a student to extend themselves and push themselves through a, pro a thinking process to overcome adversity, to uh, pu gather information and then analyze that information and then can synthesize new information from that. That is critical thinking. This is an example of STEM education, standing for science, technology, engineering and math into one class. Some also add A for art, making the acronym STEAM. As you can see, Kaven Yee's teaching philosophy emphasizes a hands-on approach to problem solving. These are skills that will help these students throughout their lives. Kaven also takes a class annually to Costa Rica, where they make environmentally friendly bio stoves for an agricultural community. I need to make sure that I give them skills that they can be participants in a global community. This integrated educational approach is a long way from the traditional teaching methods he recalls as a child of hard-working Hong Kong Chinese immigrants. 50 math problems over the summer, write 50 sentences, they look up in the dictionary all these vocabulary words and all, all my friends are playing outside playing ball and I'm sitting there like... So for this, she's... But as a teacher he's found that the best way to channel a child's energies effectively is by being sensitive to their individual learning styles. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV at Lowell School in Washington. <laughs>